Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about what are the main differences between C and Java languages. In the previous video, we are already discussed about 15 differences between C and C++ languages. If anybody wants, please refer that previous video. Now we can go for what are the main differences between C and Java languages. First point, C is a procedure oriented programming language. We already know that every C program can be defined in terms of functions or our procedures. Here a function and a procedure both are same except one difference. A function can return value but procedure does not return any value. So C language can be defined as a procedure oriented programming language. Whereas Java is an object oriented programming language. So without using class, we do not write any single program in Java. Hence, we can say that Java is a pure object oriented programming language. Next one. In C language, to design any application, we have to use top down approach. Suppose we want to perform one application for that purpose. First, we have to design an application. To design an application, we have to use the top-down approach. Whereas in the case of Java, Java follows bottom-up approach to design an application. Next, third point, C language is platform dependent whereas Java language is an platform independent. What is platform independent? Suppose we are writing a program in one operating system. That program will be worked in any other operating system. So hence Java is an platform independent language. Whereas in the case of C language, it is a platform dependent. Suppose we are creating a C program in Windows operating system, but the program will not be worked in Linux operating system. So that it is a platform dependent language. Whereas in the case of Java, suppose we are creating one program in Windows operating system, the program will be worked in any other operating system. Hence, we can say that Java is an platform independent language. Next one, in C language, there are 32 keywords are there. We already know that for, while, do while, break, continue, so in this way, there are 32 keywords are there in C language. Whereas in the case of Java, there are 50 keywords are there. Each and every keyword has performed a specific function. Next one, C language does not follow OOPS concepts such as encapsulation, polymorphism, data abstraction, inheritance but whereas in the case of java java supports object oriented concepts such as inheritance encapsulation polymorphism data abstraction next point in c language the file is saved with the dot c extension suppose we are creating one c program when we are saving the program we have to use file name .c extension. So .c extension is used for saving any C program. Whereas in the case of 
java language we have to use dot java file extension suppose we are creating one java program that program can be saved with the dot java extension that means file name dot java next one c language is not a secure whereas in the case of java language java language is fully secured because of data abstraction and exception handling mechanisms next point it supports the concept of pointers so we already know that c language supports the pointer a pointer is a variable that contains the address of another variable whereas in the case of java java does not support the pointers next one exception handling is not present in c language so we have to use exception handling mechanism whenever any error is occurred so to handle that error we have to use exception handling mechanism so divide by zero exception array index out of bounds exception so these are some exceptions so c language does not supports the exception handling mechanism whereas in the case of java java supports exception handling mechanism by using try catch and finally keywords next one C language generates the .exe files that means executable files when we are saving the program after compiling the program after running the program so it can generate the .exe file whereas in the case of java program so it generates the dot .class file okay next one it directly executes the code so in the c language it directly executes the code by using turbo c compiler whereas in the case of java so it executes the code with the help of jvm jvm means java virtual machine with the help of ja with the help of jvm it directly executes the code okay so these are the 11 differences between c and java next we can go for the 12th difference next we can go for 12th point in turbo by using turbo c compiler in c language whatever the program that we are created that program is converted into machine language so the machine language can easily understand by the machine whereas in the case of java whatever the program that we are created that program is converted into bytecode by using java c compiler after that that bytecode is executed by the java virtual mission okay so in the case of c language by using the turbo c compiler whatever the program that we have created that can be compiled and executed by the turbo c compiler so whatever the mission code that is generated that is easily understand by the mission whereas in the case of java programming whatever the program that is created that program is compiled by using java c compiler after successfully compiling a bytecode is generated that bytecode is executed by the java virtual machine next point c language is not portable portable means we are moving the c programs whatever they are created from one computer to another computer so it is not possible in c language whereas in the case of java programs java language we are moving the programs 
from one computer to another computer by considering the dot class file. Hence, we can say that Java is portable. We are moving the programs from one computer to another computer by using dot class file. Whereas, in the case of C language is not portable. Next one, C language supports two parameter passing techniques. First one is call by value and second one is call by reference. In call by value, we are passing the value of the parameters. Whereas in the case of call by reference, instead of passing the values of the parameters, we are passing the addresses of the parameters. So these are the two parameter passing techniques used in C language. Whereas in the case of Java, it supports only call by value. It does not support the call by reference because in call by reference, we are passing the addresses instead of values of the parameters so that Java does not support pointers. Hence, we can say that only call by value parameter passing mechanism is supported by the Java. Next one is in C, there is no concept of threading. Whereas in the case of Java, it supports the concept of threading and also multi-threading is also possible. A thread is a small program. Next, C language supports the go-to statement. By using the go-to statement, we are transferring the program control from one location to another location within the program. Whereas in the case of Java, Java does not support the go-to statement. Next one, preprocessors are supported in C language. So hash include, hash define, these are called as preprocessor directives. So preprocessor directives are supported in C language, whereas in the case of Java, preprocessor directives are not supported in Java language. Next one, it is less popular, uh, C language is less popular, whereas in the case of Java is the most popular programming language. Next one, it is uh, C language is not robust, whereas in the case of Java is robust due to the strong memory management. Only because of memory managed, strong memory management technique used in Java, we can say that Java is Java is robust, whereas in the case of C, C is not robust. Next one, uh, C language is used for developing system programs uh, and also developing operating systems. So C, by using C language, we have to write system programs, we have to develop operating systems. Whereas in the case of Java, Java is used to develop enterprise applications and web-based applications and okay so by using java language we have to develop enterprise applications and web-based applications so these are the differences 20 differences between c and java it is the most commonly asked question in interviews so please observe carefully Please understand carefully whatever I am telling. So thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Please click on the like button if you like this video really. Please share this video to your friends and classmates after subscribing my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasa Rao. So, thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. So, please see the previous video. Differences between C and C++. Thank you.